Hi everyone, welcome to the topic mass spectrometry. In the last video, we completed the mass ionization techniques and ionization charm, uh, methods used for in the mass spectrometry. So today we are going to discuss about the mass analyzers. The mass analyzers are also called as ion separators. So in the analyzers will be separate the ions, the either fragment ions or molecular ions based on their mass by charge ratio. That's why these mass analyzers are also called as ion separators. So commonly used mass analyzers are quadrupole mass analyzer, ion trap mass analyzers, time of flight mass analyzers. So first the quadrupole mass analyzer. So the quadrupole mass analyzers is the one type of analyzer used in the mass spectrometry. So the quadrupole mass analyzer, the construction working principle is like this. So the quadrupole mass analyzer consists of four parallel rods made up of tungsten. So here the four rods are made up of tungsten. The opposite rods have the same polarity. These opposite rods are having same polarity and the adjacent rods is having the opposite polarity. To these four rods, each rod, to these four rods, we are applying the DC current and the radio frequency voltage. To these rods, we are applying the DC current and uh, radio frequency voltage, nothing but RF voltage. Uh, this field, so this RF and DC voltage applied to these four rods will be create a one electric field within the analyzer. So within the, the gap between the, these four rods will create an electric field due to the application of radio frequency and DC current. So then this electric field will act as a filter and these will be allows, these filter or electric field allows a ions with the selected mass by charge. Suppose each and every ion, they are having some electric charge. So when they will be entered into the quadrupole mass analyzer, they are oscillating. So each and every ion which will be passing through the quadrupole mass analyzer will be oscillate in the this quadrupole electric field. So first we have to select the one oscillating frequency. So the for each and every ion they are having there some oscillating frequency. So we first we can select the uh, suitable oscillating frequency. At that suitable oscillating frequency the selected ions will be the selected ions will be passing through the detector. So these are called as stable ions, the ions with stable trajectory. The stable trajectory means the ions which is having suitable oscillation path. So we are selecting a certain electric field with the oscillation path. So the desired oscillation path will be allows the selected mass by charge ions. They will pass through the detector. This is called ions with the stable trajectory. So the ions with the unstable trajectory are unsuitable oscillation path. They are passing through the, cannot pass through the, this filter. So this mass analyzer. So only selectable charge by ratio will have the suitable trajectory will pass through the, this electric field. So in this way, this quadrupole mass analyzer is working. So this is the information regarding your quadrupole mass analyzer. And time of flight mass analyzer. This time of flight mass analyzer, in this time of flight mass analyzers, it is having a one flight tube. So this is called as a flight tube with a, a certain distance. So this is the path distance of your flight tube. This is the flight tube. In this time of flight mass analyzers, this flight tube, this distance is the magnetic field, free field region. This is the magnetic field free region, this tube. So when the ions are allowed to pass through this tube, so after the ions from the ionization source, when they enter into the, this mass analyzers, in this mass analyzer, a magnetic field free region with, will be there. This is called as flight tube. So when they will be entered, the ions are allowed to travel in this flight tube, they will take different times to travel in the given distance. So here the magnetic field is not there. So this is the given distance, flight tube distance. So here the different mass 
containing ions will be travels with different times for the given distance. The lighter ions reach the detector first. The lighter ions will be moves very fast. And the larger ions or heavier ions will be moves very slowly. So in this way, it will be works. So here we have to measure the time taken for these ions to travel for the given distance in the magnetic field free region. How much time for taken for each and every ion in the magnetic field region we are measuring. So time of flight, how much time it will be taken for a compound to travel for the given distance in the flight tube. So especially this flight tube mainly used in the LC MS MS techniques and high vacuum conditions we are providing in the this flight tube. If you are providing high vacuum conditions, the molecule are with the different masses, the ions with the different masses are cannot be collide. So the collisions will be minimized in the uh, flight tube. Why? Because we are not applying any magnetic field field here. So there is a chance of this ion, the adjacent ions with the different masses will be try to collide with each other. To avoid that one, we are using the high vacuum conditions. Ion trap mass analyzer. These ion trap mass analyzer working principles similar to your quadrupole mass analyzer. Same we are applying the radio frequency and, and uh, DC current. So in the ion trap mass as a trap, we are creating a one trap. So this is the trap. So we are creating a one trap by using the two ring electrodes, one ring electrodes and two end caps. So this is two electrodes, end electrode caps will be there and ring electrode will be there. It often consists of two end electrodes and a central ring electrode. To this end caps and electrode and to this ring electrode, we are applying the radio frequency and DC current voltage. So that time when we apply this one, this will be produced an electric field. These electric field in the gap will be uh, make a one trap. So when the ions from the ionization source will be entered into the this trap means the ions will be trapped here. So the resonance frequency first we have to create. So the trapped ions are subjected to additional radio frequency. So we are selecting a certain radio frequency at the certain radio frequency only the ions will be trapped. So the ions with the another radio frequency they cannot be trapped. So the resonance frequency at which the ions escape the traps. So once we change the radio frequency, the trap ions are going outside. Every time we create a some radio frequency, we are adjust the, a certain radio frequency or resonance frequency here. So at what extent the resonance frequency is there, that much time the ions are trapped in the this analyzer. Once we change the resonance frequency, the trapped ions are moving outside. So when they are moving outside, automatically we are analyze the mass of the ion. So in this way, this ion trap mass analyzers will be works. So these are the three types of mass analyzers commonly we are using in the mass spectrometers. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. Uh, for more updates, please subscribe our channel and uh, share the channel to the uh, useful information for the your students. Thank you.